I'm this here at Osceola Heritage Park, and supposedly, well, I'm here for go to Repticon over there. Well, supposedly, some all these people here, and I've been told that that car there is supposed to crash into like that semi or something. That's why everyone's waiting around. Totally unexpected. So before I head into Repticon, I was gonna stand here and wait. And it looks like they're gonna be get going soon. So let's see. Somehow it's supposed to do it, uh, do an example to help with passing some law or something. I'm not sure, that's what some lady told me. I had no idea this was, was going to happen or what uh, fully what's going on, but um, I got a little bit before I have to head into Repticon, so I'm going to stand out here and wait. I'm not even sure if that's exactly what's going to happen, but uh, we'll see. Okay, so that man walking away, I just talked to him. Yeah, what's gonna happen is that car is gonna crash into that semi. They put something underneath, uh, underside, I guess to keep the car from going under there and it's supposed to stop like decapitations. And I guess that extra uh, thing in there only costs like 3,000. So they're trying to prove a point. They're gonna crash one with the extra protection underneath the truck and then one without. And they're gonna do that one in about 10 or 15 minutes. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to both cars, but I need to get in there for uh, the Repticon that I'm here for. I at least want to show uh, that. So let's see. But that is interesting. And it's for stop under rides. It's at about 10 15 minutes, so we'll see. So I'll definitely be able to see the one, I, I hope. Don't have a lot of time. And there's that like, uh, like cage thing that Neat they're talking about. It's actually a good idea that will prevent, or at least help with preventing cars from going underneath being crushed or decapitated. Stop under rides, there's a sign for it. A lot of them wearing t-shirts with that on. They must be gonna be starting soon once they have their drone up. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but I do. It's right, right around there. Decent little, yeah, there's another. Is that the same one? Yeah, there's actually a couple drones. So I want to get a wrangle, so I'm assuming they're going to be starting soon. Well, they're definitely going to have this covered at all angles, but they have at least five or six drones up there. So yeah, they're definitely going to be getting a lot of film recording. Alright, they finally closed the car door, so... I don't know if I'm going to follow the car along like this or just keep it pointed at this. I think I'll keep it pointed at this because I don't want to miss it. Maybe they're going to zoom from that section. Must have been a little technical difficulty, now they're putting it back. Well, it must be finally close to them starting again as they're deploying the drones again. 
Because it is definitely hot out here, so I hope they get going. Please get the one for you guys. That's definitely a lot of kaboom. Yeah, it did take off that that uh, uh, grill or fence thing a bit. So when I understand what's going to happen next, I'm going to get that car out of there, take that uh, cage thing out from underneath it, and they're going to crash into it again. I thought I was told they're going to use a second car for that part. Well, let's see where the other car is. Unless they're going to use that same one. Tow truck's probably gonna pull it out of there. I may head in in because I want to get into this um, convention I was gonna film. But basically, yeah, like I said, they're just gonna do it again with another one. That's what I was told. Just to prove what's safer because they want to pass a law mandating those um, undercarriage things, which I actually think is a smart idea. Because that will save lives, I believe. So they're gonna be studying that for a while, probably taking pictures and things. All right, I'm gonna head on in. I think that's enough for me. Because I am really warm. It is, it's roasting out here. But you get an idea what's gonna happen next. And who knows, since it took so long to set this one up, by the time I get out of there from uh, Repticon, they might not even have done the second one yet, so we'll see.